Jesus defeated Satan. So, so he was defeated? Yes. So. Okay. But until Satan is fully dealt with, when he's put into the lake of fire with the false beast and the prophet, he's still, he's still... Undefeated, no, he's kind not, of. No, no, he's still, no, he's not undefeated. He's defeated, but God is allowing Satan so much time on this earth. So he's earth. not really defeated then if he's still got more no. time. Smile to Jenya. <laughs> The Quran Lee app, subscription cheaper than Netflix, encouraging Quran reading, modern, engaging and fun. Download it today. So let's just say we've got a guy called Larry, yeah? yeah. Larry's a really nice guy. Yes. Yeah, he's wearing a, a, a beach hat okay. and he's wearing, you know, a blazer and trousers. And then you've got 20 people, yeah? These people are in their, I don't know, t-shirts and okay. shorts. And these 20 people have got records yeah criminal records and i say okay i'm going to clear you 20 people yeah by punishing larry yeah and i'm gonna when when larry has been punished all of you your 20 criminal records have been wiped out which means i can punish so punishing larry i don't quite understand it there yeah so let's just say i i um i kill larry and i say once i've killed larry i'm gonna clear all of your names yeah, you don't have criminal records because Larry has taken the burden of your vices and I have got rid of Larry. Would I be classified as a justful person? Even though justful isn't a word. Are you, are you equating this to Jesus? Uh, at the moment, I'm not equating it to anything. I'm just asking you. A... Because Larry can't save anyone. If that's what I'm saying. So, so, but, as a judge, I'm punishing Larry and I'm telling them I will clear you once I punish Larry. Well, I've never, I've never heard that way before, but what I'm just saying to you is that... Uh, what do you think is just, is my question. But the, the, the thing is, Larry, Larry can't do anything for me. That, that's precisely... Yeah. As a judge though, I'm saying the condition that I'm punishing him because of you guys. Am I... Uh, Am I a, do I, well, should I continue being a judge based upon what I've just done? Well, say you're being a hypocrite, actually. Because <laughs> uh, you, you're not applying it to everyone. Exactly. But what I'm saying to you is that there is one Jesus who was anyone qualified to be the propitiatory sin offering for us. But Terry, do you see here, you, you're applying one logic in one place, but when it comes to Jesus, you're saying, you know what, here, it, it's, it's okay. But then my question, I'm going to, I, I guess my question to you, no problem, when you have to go Terry, don't let me keep you. So I guess what I would say then is, why would it be, uh, why would I be taken off my job there, but when it comes to Jesus, somehow it's, it's fine. Because as I said, Jesus was prepared for this in eternity past. Okay, what if I prepared Larry as well? I said, Larry, we, we're going to do this here, and Larry's like, you know what, I've lived my life. And I'm okay, and I prepared him as well. People would still say it's wrong. No, but, but what I'm saying, I mean, at the end of the day, I, I don't really think it's probably a helpful. Is he your friend? Oh, okay. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, go ahead, go ahead. Um, what, what I'm saying is that maybe, 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 you know, maybe your analogy is not really that helpful or useful. Because you're, you're equating it on a human perspective. You've got to look how God sees it. Because as human beings, it's always how we want to see it. Right. How, how would we know how God sees it? Well, as I said, uh, you have to be born again, you have to have God's Spirit in you. Okay, so you've had that, yeah? Yeah. So maybe so, you can explain it. Yeah. Okay, before, before I was a Christian, I was into a lot of dark, heavy stuff. Sorry? I was into a lot of dark, heavy stuff. Right. right? I, was, I was dabbling into lots of stuff that I shouldn't have been into. Because I was actually a child of the devil. No, what I'm saying is you said sometimes we see it from our eyes, but we, we need to see it from God's eyes. Yeah, exactly. then, then I asked you, how do you do that? And you said, okay, you have to be born again. Yes, you have to... yes. And then I said, okay, we have someone here. We got Terry, who's born again, who, has a, who claims he has the spirit of God. So you can kind of explain, so I can maybe, because you said my analogies maybe didn't hit the mark. So maybe you can tell me as a born again person, somebody that can see, from kind of maybe give me a different perspective. Well, as I just said to you earlier, you know, about the uh, 
about the plant kingdom and the animal kingdom. You can't enter those kingdoms because oh, okay. you don't have that very essence in nature. It's the same with God's kingdom. You can't enter into his kingdom unless you have his very essence in nature. Is, is this God's kingdom? I'm talking, about, I'm talking about his kingdom spiritually. Oh, okay. I'm not, talking, I'm, not, I'm not talking about this world system because Satan is the prince of this world. This is his domain. Okay. This is where he rules. Even when he sent his son, he ruled here as well. Pardon? You know when God sent Jesus, yeah. who is his son, yes. was this Satan's domain then as well? Yeah, Satan said that. He said, I own all the kingdoms of the world. He, he tried to, three times he tried to trick Jesus. And Jesus just rebuked him with the word of God. All right. So this kingdom is Satan's, but one day God's coming back to take his earth back. But there's a battle being played. So he sent his son to Satan's kingdom? So, so Jesus came. So when Jesus went to the cross, Satan was defeated at the cross. That's why Satan. So it's not his kingdom anymore. Who? Uh, so it's not Satan's kingdom anymore because he was defeated at the cross, yeah. But obviously he, he's a fallen, he's a fallen uh, cherub. Yeah. He's, I mean, he's very powerful. Yes. You know, I mean, he's got. He, do, he does have an army as well. Yes. You know, so he's very organised. So when God's working, Satan's working as well. He doesn't stop. That, so the main Satan, would you say he was defeated at the time of the cross, yeah. but his cherubs are still alive? Yeah, because his the, minions. Yeah, because what happened was Jesus said, "I saw Satan fall like lightning," and then the third of the angels who rebelled with Satan in heaven, obviously, went down with him as well. So there's demons and there's e demons and evil spirits are not the same thing. They are two different categories. Yes, but they do. But they're all part of Satan's evil plan for mankind. So what's the difference between demons and evil spirits? Okay, um, evil spirits they tend to be in the air, so to speak, above, and the demons are in the, are on the earth and the water. Okay, so demons in the sea, yes. spirits in the air. Yes, that's right. Yeah, but they both, but they both collaborate to work with Satan. He's like okay. he's like their commander in chief. I see. So there's different ranks. For Satan, are we agreed that Satan died at the cross? Yeah. Well, Jesus. He was died. defeated. Jesus defeated Satan. See, so he was defeated. Yes. So. Okay. But until Satan is fully dealt with, when he's put into the lake of fire with the false beast and the prophet, he's still, he's still undefeated. No, he's kind not, of. No, no, he's still. No, he's not undefeated. He's defeated, but God is allowing Satan so much time on this earth. And so he's not really defeated then if he's still got more no, time. No, because God, God will. I'll give you an example, Terry. If we're in an MMA fight, you probably beat me up, yeah, and then. If let's just say I'm defeated, I don't get to carry on fighting, like that's the end of the match, isn't it? Because Satan hasn't been fully dealt with yet. God is a land in a certain amount of time on this earth. And then one day God's gonna just go like that. And he's gone. Right. So he's still undefeated. He's undefeated in the sense that he has sway over human beings, but obviously God is above Satan. God, Satan can't tell God what to do. So how was he defeated at the cross? Because he, because what I mean is when Jesus when Jesus spilled his precious blood at the cross, that was the doorway for man to come back to God. So man doesn't have to be under Satan's deception. There's hope. That's what, I'm to, that's what I'm trying to say. So it was like it's a battle that was won, not the war. Is that what you're trying to say? Well, the battle's already won in a sense because we know we know that the ultimate devil's time is limited on the earth. That's war, isn't it? The war's bigger, battles are smaller. Yeah. yeah. That, that's why he's raging at the moment, and that, that's why he's putting all the stuff on human beings. Yeah. You know, I mean, what what he's doing now isn't anything new. It's what he done in Genesis six.